folks, Scott Fisher here. And today we got another box from Japan. I gotta love it when you see the red tape on there. Oh yeah, so you know it's gonna be something interesting and probably something Japanese. Let's dig in and take a look. I think you might dig this one too. All right, folks, so what do we have here? Well, obviously we got a Telecaster and we got a Telecaster with a Bigsby. That's always cool, but wait, what? What's this right here? You don't usually see that switch on many Telecasters. And what's up with this pickup with that extra little metal bit going on there? Ah, well, you see, turns out that this is an Elk Telecaster from Japan, 60s and 70s. But this is a later model Elk. And these guitars were fantastic. They're highly sought after by professional musicians in Japan. Elk did a lot of cool things, a lot of original things, like these pickups are completely their own design. Well, they had another company make them, but they're completely their own design. And some of these Elks, the earlier ones, were super heavy. This is really lightweight. I'm kind of surprised. And they took a page out of the Gretsch books with the early ones where there was a big leather circle here that snapped on that covered up a route that was made for lightning the body, but they obviously dialed that in. Another thing worth mentioning about these Elks is that they are a shorter scale length. This is a 24 and 3 quarter guitar. Also, these things have a zero fret, which uh, I always think is pretty cool because you're going to get that action pretty low with a zero fret. Rad. Also, I noticed that the tuners, even though they look like your standard fare import tuners back here with the, uh, the enclosing on it, they are split tuners. And uh, the other thing about them is that I feel like when I'm tightening them, the gear ratio feels, feels tighter than most of the really cheap import tuners that I've had before. So I don't know if that's just my imagination or or what. The thing about this one is I actually didn't know it was an elk cutlass. I found that out after the fact. This thing had popped up because the badging is gone. This thing had popped up on one of the auction sites in Japan and it only had five minutes left to go. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, oh my God, I know my Japanese guitars enough to know that that is definitely a vintage Japanese guitar. Oh man, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. But what is it? I scoured the internet. I was looking at Matsumoko, Tokai, you name it. I was looking at everybody trying to find this switch. It looked stock in there. I was trying to figure it out and I couldn't figure it out. So in the end, I just had to buy the thing because it was at such a, a good price. Well, later, my buddy Craig, who's an expert on these Japanese guitars way beyond me, told me that it was the Elk Cutlass, a late model one, and that I had got an excellent score here because they're supposed to be fantastic guitars. And I got to tell you, I haven't plugged it in yet, but I mean, right out of the box, they just that, that feel on the neck. And these strings are old, they're crusty, they're corroded, the frets need to be polished, all that stuff. But you just know sometimes, guys, when you hold a quality, a quality piece in your hands, the balance, look at the balance on it. Really good. Man, I am stoked about this. Okay, so uh, let's plug it in. Let's see if it works. <laughs> take a deeper look at the L because I put new strings on it because those <laughs> strings were so crusty. First thing I found super interesting is the bridge on this. Now, Elks have other bridges on it that I've seen. Um, and not this style, but the neat thing about this one is because of the Bigsby, this is a rocker bridge. I don't see any marking on it, so I'm not sure where it's from, but, uh, but it's neat because it's got these cups these screws are cups and so the cups can pivot as you do your little twang -a -lang -a -lang -a with the thing there cool so uh and i gotta say it stayed in tune remarkably well especially considering how old the string the strings were and everything so let's take a peek under here and see now the pickup in the bottom is definitely original i learned about those and as we were saying earlier the fender ones style ones would have sort of a jagged tooth thing with the metal that goes along the sides of it and uh, these elk ones do not but that looks clean and i'm gonna guess again i'm no expert but i don't see any broken solder i don't know if this thing's ever been gotten into it's it looks brand new under here so i'm gonna guess everything here is completely original that's awesome. The thing that was cool about these, and one of the reasons I had a hard time IDing it, because of this pick guard. It's got a little extra drop. You see it? 
um, see how it just comes down to a point right here? Now, normally the stock, the, the normal elk bridge is like really fat, so it would cover up that that point. You don't want to even see it. But with this bridge on here, you could see the point. And I was like, what is this thing? I don't know. Thankfully, my buddy Craig is smarter than me with this. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look here. Well, I've seen those pots before for sure on old Ibanez's. Uh, wow, oh, it's interesting. If you look at it, and maybe this is how they did weight reduction on it, it's actually hollow under there. Holy cow, I did not expect that. Is the whole thing hollow? The whole thing is not hollow, but it's got a core inside of it, but. Wow, that explains why it's light. Like I was saying before, some of the earlier ones of these, they would have to rat out the back in a big circle and put a leather thing on it to make it lighter. So uh, that might explain it. Gosh, it's almost like a thin line, I suppose, without a hole. So you gotta wonder if the hollowness goes all the way over here. I would assume it probably does. Another thing that's fun about these two is uh, they stamp them on the neck. And I could not see the stamps on the auction I bought it on. But you can see them here. What do we got? Looks like we got a four or a one. I think it's a one. One, four, two, seven. I'm not an expert on dating them, so maybe that would give us a date idea for it. But anyway, just beautiful. And wow, the condition of this is kind of staggering, man. It's almost, I feel like it's almost brand new. There's not even a lot of fret wear on this thing. Um, the paint is in really good condition. Wow, I'm super stoked. All right. Mm -hmm.